fine. Would you mind? Looking for something? No. Work for the railroad? No. Agricultural department? No. Oh, then you're with the... Uh... We're with the county surveying department. <laughs> Guess you're surveying something for the county, huh? <laughs> that is a fair assumption. Water main? Suspension bridge? We don't need no water main or suspension bridge. What we really need is a road. That what you're surveying, a road? Look, mister, if you want any information, you'll have to talk to the supervisor. Kate! Kate! Oh, Uncle Joe, I need some wood chopped for the stove. Kate, never mind the wood. Look, I gotta cook dinner. Kate, what would be the greatest thing that could ever happen to the Shady Rest? You're moving out? No, I'll put it to you another way. I like it that way. Kate, the county's going to put a road right by our front door. What? Yeah, there's two, two surveyors down by the tracks working on it right this minute. Well, did they tell you they were surveying for a road? Of course not. They wouldn't say anything when I ask them. Well, what makes you think they're going to build it? Well, if they told me they were going to build a road, I'd have known they weren't. <laughs> Uncle Joe, you better lie down till you feel better. Hey, yeah, and then it's time for rest, and I gotta figure out some signs to put along the road to advertise in the Shady Rest Motel. You did say motel. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got some great ideas for signs. Real eye catchers. They'll make the itinerant motorists stop short and drive in, like old fashioned accommodations with modern prices. Oh, that's a real brick jammer. For every room with a view of the bathroom. Oh, I think you better clear that with the road department first. And we're going to need some to tickle the motor and public's appetite. Make it sound like we got good cooking here. <laughs> Any kind word will help. I'm going to catch a little jingle like, no sense in speeding when you could be inside feeding. It's got something, but I wouldn't care to say what. <laughs> you remind if I try one. Roses are red, wood is brown. You better chop some or move into town. <laughs> I've rechecked my figures three times. I don't know how a mistake like this could have happened. You know, when you come to think of it, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I hope Mrs. Bradley thinks so. Would you mind telling me that again, Mr. Gray? Well... The county policy is to do a new survey every 25 years. Just, so today, just, just, just the last part. Well, when we checked our figures against the previous survey, we found that... Just the, the last part? Well, what it boils down to is that the boundary line between Hooterville County and Pixley County runs right through the center of your hotel. <laughs> right through the center? Yes. The line is about here. Right now, you're in Pixley. <laughs> Now I'm in Pixley. Yes. And now I'm in Hooterville. Exactly. <laughs> Pixley, Hooterville. Right. It's only an imaginary line on a map. Uh, actually, you're still living in the same place. Well, I'm certainly glad. I've lived all my life in Hooterville County, and I like it here. I mean, here. Well, that's understandable. Say, I, I have to get back to work. Well, thanks for telling me, Mr. Craig. I'm just glad you're not angry with us. Oh, why should I be angry when everything's the same? Oh, everything's the same, except... Uh, uh Hooterville, Pixley. <laughs> right. Uh, goodbye, Mrs. Bradley. Goodbye, Mr. Craig. Hooterville, Pixley. Hooterville, Mistake, huh? Mm-hmm. Hooterville, Pixley. No road? No road. Oh. You know, I'm kind of sorry. I liked a couple of those signs you thought up. <laughs> now I'm going to have to think up a whole batch of new ones. What for? Kate, don't you realize this is the greatest thing that ever happened to you? It's better than a road. Well, you're like that hotel in California that the Nevada border runs right through the middle of. One of the greatest tourist attractions in the country. People come from all around to indulge in such bi-state sports as taking a bath in California and then drying themselves in Nevada. I could see where that would attract a big crowd. You're going to attract them here, Kate. You're going to make a million. The commercial possibilities is unlimited. 
Well, we can take pictures of folks standing with one foot in Hooterville and one in Pixley. <laughs> then we can take trick shots of a fellow standing in Pixley, shaking hand with himself in Hooterville. <laughs> Uncle Joe, it's just an imaginary line. <laughs> What's all this? It's just an imaginary line. How can a fella paint a straight line with all this screaming going on? Uncle Joe. How do you like it, Kate? What have you done? I divided you up into untold posterity. Get that off the rug. But, uh... Bob, off. Well, if he didn't want it, you should have spoke up a half hour ago before it soaked in. If I had known what you were going to do half an hour ago, you would have been out of here an hour ago. <laughs> Would somebody please tell us what's going on? Well, that's simple. I'm just painting an imaginary county line through the middle of the hotel. Should have been done years ago due to a mistake in a survey. A county line? Yes. Hooterville, Pixley. Hooterville? Pixley? Right. Oh. Well, Kate, you're going to have to order some new stationery to match the new sign. <laughs> Twin County Hotel. Yeah, I was going to call it the Hooter Picks Hotel, but the Hooter would have been on the Picks side and the Picks would have been on the Hooter side. Bye. See, you girls be careful going upstairs. That paint's still wet on the line I painted down the hallway. You mean Hooterville Pixley in the upper hallway? Yeah. <laughs> you know something, Uncle Joe? It just isn't fair for you to be doing all this work by yourself. Let me help you. Well, that's real nice of you, Kate. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Now, let's decide where I'm going to kick you. Hooterville or Pixley. <laughs> done such business. I told you, Kate. I got a couple of other ideas. No, 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 please. Let's leave well enough uh, alone, shall we? Excuse me. Good evening, sir. You want to register in Hooterville or Pixley? We've got only a double room in Hooterville, but you can sleep in Pixley tonight and we'll move you over in the morning. Oh. <laughs> I'm not looking for a room. Oh, just want supper, huh? Well, we're pushing beef stew tonight on both sides of the line. Uh, I've already had supper. Oh, would you like to have your picture taken straddling two counties? Got a special deal on, half in color on one side of the line and black and white on the other half. <laughs> or you can straddle in full color for only 10 cents extra. I'm sorry, I didn't want to have my picture taken either. Well, look, mister, right now we're catering to the cash customers. You non-buying curiosity seekers will be welcome later on. Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. What can I do for you, Mr. Uh, uh, Travis? Mr. Travis. Yes, I'm with the Pixar County Licensing Division. Uh -huh. I wonder if I might see your hotel license. Huh? There it is, paid and up to date. <laughs> yes, that's that's for Hooterville County. Uh, may I see your Pixley County license? I don't have one. Oh, you haven't? Well, what would I need one for? Well, some of your rooms are on the Pixley side of the hotel, are they not? Yes, six of them, but... Uh, public lodging law number 12. Any establishment which offers its rooms for public occupancy must be duly licensed. I'll give you an application to fill out. Yours the same as Hooterville, $10? Mm, that's right. Well, if I gotta get one, I gotta get one. Of course, uh, that's for hotels that have been in business for at least two or more years. Well, the Shady Rest has been operating for over 50 years. Seven, eight, nine... In, in, in Hooterville. That's right. Oh, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to have you fill out a 622. Now, that's a license we issue to all new hotels. But this isn't new. It wasn't here two days ago. Oh, yes, it was. It was over there. But now it's part there and part here. I'm sorry, it's County Ordinance Number 918. Of course. Uh, please, never mind 918. How much is 622? Uh, that's $125. What? By the way, which side of the hotel do you live on? Hooterville. Oh, I'm sorry. I I've made an error. Huh, I thought so. Yes, the license for out of county residence is uh, $165. <laughs> $165. Uh, that's, that's an 821. 
What would happen if I moved over to the Pixley side of the hotel? Oh, well, now, in that case, your license would only be um, $125. It's a little better. Uh, of course, you know that all new residents to the county are subject to a $100 school board tax assessment. <laughs> then I'd be better off staying in Hooterville and buying an out-of-county license. Oh, infinitely, yes, yes. <laughs> of course, now that... Oh, please, no more, of course. Mr. Travis, I can't pay you the in-county license or the out-county license. Well, in that case, yes. In that case, you're liable to a $2,000 fine or one year in jail. Now, whichever you choose, you'll find us very easy to do business with. <laughs> well, there's no hurry. We'll give you all the time you need to raise the money. See you in two or three days. <laughs> Finally get rid of the cheap skate? Uh-huh. Uncle Joe, if you were given your choice as to whether you would pay a $2,000 fine or spend a year in jail, which would you take? Spend a year in jail. We'll keep a light burning in the window for you. <laughs> and so what I would like to know is, would it be better to pay the $165 for the Pixley Hotel license as a resident of Hooterville, or move over to the Pixley side of the hotel, pay $125, plus a new resident $100 school assessment? Would you mind repeating the question? Would it be better if I paid $100... <laughs> no, Kate, of course, you'd be better off in plain dollars and cents staying in Hooterville and paying the Pixley out-of-county license fee. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah, and of course, living in Hooterville and operating a business in Pixley makes you liable for a Hooterville County out-of-county tax. How much is that? Well, if I remember correctly, that comes to half the licensing fee of the out-of-county county, plus an additional fee for transferring title of the Hooterville part of the hotel that now resides in Pixley. <laughs> out-of-county county. How much does that come to? Uh, $235. That's $10 more than I'd have to pay if I moved to Pixley. And, of course, moving out of Hooterville County means you're going to lose a prestige, well. a prestige address. Not only that, you're going to have to get all your mail at the Pixley Post Office, which puts you in a higher parcel post zone. Well, then I'd be better off to pay the $10 and hang on to Hooterville. No doubt about it at all, Kate. But then this is ridiculous. I can't afford all these fees. Well, Kate, you got to look at it from a business standpoint. <laughs> After all, it's an investment. You, you wouldn't have been earning that money if you hadn't been subdivided. Look, I wouldn't mind if I was sure that was all I was going to have to put out. Kate, I'm positive your problems are over. <laughs> Mrs. Bradley? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I'm with the Pixley County Health Department. Health Department? Uh, nothing wrong, Mrs. Bradley. I inspected the uh, Pixley side of the hotel and found everything in apple pie order. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> of course, uh... <laughs> Of course, all six rooms on the Pixley side are not fit for human occupancy. Well, my room's on the Pixley side, and I'm human. <laughs> not according to the Pixley Health Department. <laughs> well, I don't understand that at all. All right. How many bathrooms do we have? One. Where is it? On the Hooterville side. Well, according to the Pixley Health Code, you've got to have one bathroom for every six rooms. And since the bathroom is in Hooterville, Pixley doesn't have any. You gonna build another bathroom? You know what that costs. I got an idea. Why don't we put the bathtub on wheels and every Saturday night we'll roll it back and forth? <laughs> occupied or unoccupied? Unoccupied, of course. Oh, well, good. Otherwise, we might have to pay an inter-county amusement tax. <laughs> and another thing. We gotta close up the pitsley side of the dining room table. But why? Because the kitchen is in Hooterville. And according to the Pixley Health Department, you cannot prepare food in one county and consume it in another. <laughs> what next? Tell her I left this paper for you, Kate. <laughs> A summons to appear in the Pixley Municipal Court. Mom, what did you do? I didn't do anything he did. <laughs> he was running around Pixley with a hoot of a license. He ain't nothing to worry about. They'll let him off light. He can plead insanity. <laughs> That's what I was figuring on pleading. <laughs> the Pixley Building Department. That's right, Mrs. Bradley. I've been looking around the hotel. Get to the, of course. Your pardon? Uh, of course, I'll have to do what? Oh, well, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> the construction on what is now the Pixley side of the hotel is not up to the standards of the Pixley Building Code. 
Well, it's up to the Hooterville standards. Hooterville? <laughs> Backward little county. Well, see here, I was born and raised in Hooterville, and I happen to be a Hooterville resident. Doesn't make any difference as long as you make the proper alterations to conform with the Pixley Code. Like what? Well, uh, shall we start with the walls? Huh, might as well. Very well. The uh, studs are 18 inches apart. Our code calls for a minimum distance of uh, 12 inches. Now the floors are very solid. Uh, could, could I ask a question, Mr. Dixon? Yes, ma'am. What would happen if I would wall off the Pixley side of the hotel? No problem, as long as the studs are 12 inches apart. <laughs> no, I mean wall it off and never use it. Oh, you mean abandon it? Uh-huh. I don't see why you can't. Of, of course. course. <laughs> You're familiar with Pixley County Land Improvement Ordinance Number uh, 38? Well, that's one I haven't run into. Well, it provides that anyone who wishes to abandon a dwelling must post a bond equal to the cost of restoring the site upon which the dwelling reposed to its former natural beauty. Oh. I'd like to ask another question. Yes, ma'am. What would happen if I would pick up that pail of water and just let you have it? You wouldn't want to do a thing like that, Mrs. Bradley. Public Ordinance Number 38 specifically prohibits anyone from assaulting a county officer in the performance of his duty. Uh, you mean uh, in Pixley? That's right. Pixley Ordinance 38? Yeah. <laughs> See you around Hooterville. Hey, I just added up yesterday's receipts. We took in 85 cents from the two-county picture-taking concession, $3.75 for two Hooterville dinners, and a dime on a Pixley postcard. That makes a grand total of $4.75, of which $2.90 is clear profit. $2.90. Uncle Joe, do you know what the estimate is for rebuilding the Pixley side conforming to the building code? $1,222. Floyd and Charlie could do it for less than 100 They could, they could, but they happen to live in Hooterville. And there's a $1,500 fine for using non-Pixley labor on a Pixley job. <laughs> A thousand some odd dollars ain't so bad for all that work. It might not be, except that the estimate for redoing the Hooterville side is 2,500 some odd dollars. Why do we have to redo that? Because the Hooterville building code provides that any dwelling rebuilt according to Pixley standards has got to be better on the Hooterville side. Well, once we get it all rebuilt, then your problems are over. My problems were supposed to be over when I took out a Pixley Hotel license. What else could happen? Mom! Mom! I don't know, but I think it has. Mom! Mom! Who hit you? Nobody. What are you crying for? I'm going to be thrown out of school. Who did you hit? Nobody. I'm going to be thrown out of Hooterville High because I live in Pixley. No, you don't. My room's in Pixley. My whole life was ruined just because I live on the wrong side of the line. No. My problems are over, huh? That ain't no problem. Well, it is if, if you're going to be taken away from your lifelong friends. You can still go to Hooterville High. All we got to do is move you over to the other side of the hotel. Billy Joe, now that you're out of high school, you move over to the Pixley side and let Betty Joe have your room. Mom, I can't. <laughs> Why? Why not? Don't you remember? I'm the Hooterville representative in the state shorthand contest. If I move to Pixley, I'll be eliminated. <laughs> Why to Mom, if I move into Pixley, then I'll have to transfer from Hooterville High School and you don't want to go to school with me. I don't want to go to Pixley. I don't want to go to Pixley. And I don't want to be a baby. Boys! You girls ought to be ashamed of yourself, worrying over little things like what school you're going to attend when your mother's on the road to millions. Hey, the fellow just came in and ordered a 50-cent half-color picture of himself standing Uncle up. Joe, how would you like to take a full-color picture of me, half in Pixley, half in Hooterville, and half out of my mind? <laughs> A week ago, I woke up and the sun was shining and the birds were singing and the hotel was quiet and empty. 
And then Mr. Craig walked in and said two words, Hooterville Pixley, and that's when the dam broke. <laughs> Maybe you ought to switch to cream soda. $1,000 to rebuild the Pixley side of the hotel. $2,500 to rebuild the Hooterville side of the hotel. I gotta buy two hotel licenses. I gotta put in another bathroom. The dog is a wanted man in Pixley, and they're gonna throw Betty Joe out of Hooterville High School. Tell you, Sam, that's as far as they're gonna push me. I'm gonna put my foot down. Good for you, Kate. You gotta draw the line somewhere. Ooh, sorry. Sam, isn't there anybody, anyone, anything, any, any can help me? Kate, if it was just Hooterville County, I might be able to do something. I have a little influence here, but I don't have any pull at all in Pixley. And that's what I need, a little pull. No! <laughs> what I need is a lot of pull. <laughs> Ain't there any other kind of pull you can think of? This is it. Don't know if we can do it. The Wright brothers never knew if they was related until they invented the airplane. Is that a fact? Read your history book. Go get up steam. We'll sure give her a good try, Kate. Thanks, Charlie. Signal when you're ready, huh? Okay. <laughs> get ready. getting better. changed your mind someday and wanted to move the hotel back to Pixley. This hotel is staying right where it is, and nothing short of an earthquake's gonna move it. Oh, quick! Everybody around to the Pixley side and push! <laughs> Women, strictly one-county thinkers. <laughs> Junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.